This week I want to talk a little bit about fuel pumps. Now if your car happens to be an older vehicle that has a carburetor on it, you've typically got a mechanical fuel pump on those vehicles located under the hood, driven mechanically off the engine. They develop 4 to 7 or 8 PSI as a rule. They're pretty inexpensive to replace. In some cases you have to remove accessories to get at them. But if you've got a newer car, which is just about anything built since the mid-80s that has fuel injection, you're going to have an electric fuel pump. 95% of those are located inside the fuel tank. Now, this one that we have here today is off a 1985 Chrysler vehicle, and the pump is located, as I said, inside the fuel tank. You have to be careful taking these out and guide them out so you don't damage them. And there it comes. There's what it looks like. This is what we call the pump and sending unit assembly. Starting out at the bottom here with the strainer. This pre-filters the gas that's going to enter the fuel pump. That's the actual electric fuel pump right there. There's the two electrical terminals, the power wire and ground wire. And it's secured on there in this case with a little hose clamp. Over here you can see the float for the fuel tank uh, sending unit. This is what drives the gauge on the dash of your car. There's a little rheostat in here. This float goes up and down with the fuel level to make that gauge read properly on the dash. You can see the output line with the hose clamp securing it here and a couple of return lines back into the tank here. There's the o-ring that seals it, this uh, neoprene o-ring right here and a couple of tabs to locate it and there's a lock ring or cam that locks this into the tank. There's the uh, output hose and the return hose and you can see the uh, wiring plug over here and the pump wire located right here. And don't expect to get a whole lot of warning when your fuel pump starts to fail. In some cases you may get stumbling or stalling in hot weather in extreme cases or you may, if you're real lucky, have a severe performance problem where you can drive the car into the shop but it won't maintain road speed properly. It just doesn't have the power and stumbles and surges. But by and large, the typical fuel pump failure in this type of pump assembly is a complete failure where you have to get the vehicle towed in. So if that's the case, call the tow truck. Till next week, I'm Bill Gardner for Motoring 96. If you consider Motoring TV has been on the air for 30 plus years, there's no doubt you've missed a few episodes. Well, there's a couple of ways you can catch up and make sure you don't miss anything. First, you can go to YouTube and look up just segments or complete shows. Also, if you want to know what we're doing like today on a daily basis, just go to our Facebook page. And also, you can go to MotoringTVShop.com, get some cool swag. Oh, there's also that Instagram.